This Cisco ACI multi-site use case provides endpoint groups stretched across multiple sites. A stretched EPG is defined as an endpoint group that expands across multiple sites where the underlying networking, site locale, and bridge domain can be distinct. In this use case, only the EPGs are stretched between sites. Each EPG has their own local BD subnet, while the contract is also shared between sites. In multi-site controller, create a new schema. Rename the existing template. Choose a tenant to stretch across both sites. Create an application profile. Then add two stretched EPGs. Click the web EPG and associate it with two bridge domains. Both bridge domains use a common VRF. Add a VRF. Connect both bridge domains to the VRF. Next, create a contract. Change the scope of the contract to tenant as the tenant is stretched. The contract is provided by the app EPG and consumed by the web EPG. Associate the bridge domain with the app EPG. Save your changes. Next, stretch the template across two sites and then add site local properties where each BD has their own unique subnet, unique physical domain, and VMM. To do this, add two sites. Click the first bridge domain. By default, the L2 stretch checkbox is checked. Uncheck the L2 stretch checkbox for both bridge domains as they are not L2 stretched. Click the first site and the first BD to add distinct local properties. Add a unique subnet, enter the gateway IP address, and description. Repeat these steps for the second BD. Click the second site and the first BD to add distinct local properties. Add a unique subnet, enter the gateway IP address, and description. Repeat these steps for the second BD. Next, add a VMM to the app EPG. Click the first site and click the app EPG. In the right column, add a domain. Choose the VMM domain type, the profile, the deployment immediacy, and the resolution immediacy. The VMM has been associated with the stretched app EPG for the first site. Click the second site and click the app EPG. In the right column, add a domain. Choose the VMM domain type, the profile, the deployment immediacy, and the resolution immediacy. The VMM has been associated with the stretched app EPG for the second site. Save your changes. Next, add a physical domain to the web EPG. Click the first site and click the web EPG. In the right column, add a domain. Choose the physical association type, the profile, the deployment immediacy, and the resolution immediacy. The physical domain has been associated with the stretched web EPG for the first site. Click the second site and click the web EPG. In the right column, add a domain. Choose the physical domain type, the profile, the deployment immediacy, and the resolution immediacy. The physical domain has been associated with the stretched web EPG for the second site. The use case is ready. With a stretched tenant, two stretched EPGs, unique subnets for BDs for each site, and unique VMM and physical domains for each site. 
save your changes. Click deploy to sites and then click OK. You can see the site's health statuses are green. Click the web EPG to verify its deployment to the first site. Click the URL icon which opens the APIC user interface. Log in to APIC. Search for the tenant you created. Under Application Profiles, you can see the stretched web EPG and app EPG that you created. Under Networking, you can see the bridge domains that you created. In the stretched app EPG, you can see the associated VMM domain. And in the stretched web EPG, you can see the associated physical domain. The domains are unique to each EPG and unique to each site. In multi-site, click Site 2, the stretched web EPG, and the URL icon. Log in to the APIC controller. Search for the tenant you created. Under Application Profiles, you can see the stretched web EPG and app EPG that you created. In the stretched app EPG, you can see the associated VMM domain. And in the stretched web EPG, you can see the associated physical domain. The local site properties are pushed from multi-site controller to APIC. The EPGs are stretched while the bridge domain and local properties like the VMM, physical domain, and subnets are unique to each particular stretched site. For more information on Cisco ACI Multisite, go to Cisco APIC Docs.